Good morning, everyone. Today is 13th of June, 2017. We will repeat the same explanation about the controlling indoor split unit kit, but this time we got, uh, we're going to explain about the universal kit. The universal kit, something uh, like a joker. We call it a joker, matter of fact, because we can use it with uh, every split, with every AC unit, regardless the company, regardless uh, everything. But of course, the, mini the design manipulation going to be the uh, technician job because he will be able to uh, rewire everything uh, inside that split unit. Okay, let's start. Basically, let's start with it, uh, with our kit over here, which consists from the same general components. The big relay for the compressor. The first relay here for the fan. It says here the fan out. The second one for the reversal valve. It says here VR. And the last three for the speed degree for the internal fan in that split unit, the indoor split unit. What else? The auto restart function over here, which uh, you know, acting like the triple pack timer, which is timing, scheduling, you know, uh, restarting again. And what about this one? This chip, this chip here is the comparator, which is comparing the signals count that comes to uh, to the kit over here from the uh, outside environment. And then after that, he will compare it to the uh, stored values that comes from the company in it. What about here? This one, uh, this component here is the ringing bell that uh, that give us a sound when we are starting the the kit. What else? The screening here, the the supply screen, the power supply, transformer, and the remote control. I thought we will do this uh, with this ovometer. We will uh, measure the uh, signals that comes from the kit to find out it works uh, it works works fine without putting it on the fan on the valve okay let's see how uh, how's that gonna be and last two little things the two sensors the humidity sensor and the bubble over here the air bubble okay let's start and let's see about the error codes that comes on the displaying screen in here in case we are not plug in the sockets of the sensors the humidity sensor and the air sensor okay and remember safety first do not do this at home unless you are qualified to do it and last thing you are doing over here is feeding it with live electricity okay let's start First of all, get this out of the board. Then after that, let's put the screening into here. Okay. Then make the display like this. Status. Then. Okay. Then let's put the transformer. This transformer in here, the input is 22 and that was 13.5 voltage. Let's put the input of the transformer, the socket, and the output of the transformer that going to feed the whole kit and the socket. Very well. What else? What else? Let's just just to be sure that there is batteries and your remote control. Then after that, let's feed it. Why we did not plug in the sensors? Because we are trying to monitor what kind of error codes are going to be out of it on the displaying screen in case in case we are not plugging it. Remember, remember the neutral on the neutral, the line on the line. at the code over here it's error number one which means I have to put the first sensor first sensor is the 
air sensor. We call it the bubble. Okay, which is here. Look at this red socket. We're gonna put it into the red socket. Okay, directly. He took it, but he gave me another signal because he is not looking or seeing any sensor on the second board, which on the second plug, which is the humidity. The humidity. Okay, sensor. Let's put it in here. And okay, I got it. Let's see what is happening. See, normally when the universal kit uh, working, it's going to be on the cooling mode. But why it is here? Because it is on the warm. It was on the warm previously for this test, which means that this device could remember what is the previous status for the kit. Let's see what is happening here. I have this remote control in here. It's working now. Look at the mode. The mode is warm. Okay. Let's see. I want to make sure about the about the speed of the uh, internal fan. What is going to happen? The internal fan speeds is over here high, mid, low, which means if I give him signal for the low, for this is the auto, for the high, there is a signal going to be on the high on the high on the high terminal how could i see it this is why we will use the altimeter it's here okay let's put it like this and let's see how we can get it we say it's high okay then it means then it means it's going to be high but it is warm right now see let's uh, go to the uh, cooling cooling moon which is going to be this one this is the auto very nice and this is the cooling very nice okay what about the fan in here which fan outside or inside the inside fan let's put it here on the low which is the minimum speed minimum speed for the internal fan low look at this it gives me an error what about the others give me zero the mid and high speed going to be to give me zero okay what else let's make it auto no let's make it high let's go to test the output of the high We'll see that there is signal comes out of it, so it's ready to operate it. What about the mid speed zero? What about the low speed zero? Sweet. What about the mid? See the mid. Let's see. Yes. Look at this. It gives me output signal. What about the high? Zero. What about the low? Zero. Again to the low. Okay, it's going to be. Here and here. What about the mid? Zero. What about the high? Zero. Okay. Let's go to the fan. The outside fan should be working right now. The same thing. We will go to the output port for the fan out. See? It gives me it gives me signal, which means it's alright. Okay, what about the reverse involved? Which is this one here. Okay, as long as there is cooling mode over here and it's not warming mode, it should be zero. Let's see. Okay, very nice. What about the compressor output? The compressor output is going to be here. Let's see it. See, it gives me out. It gives me output. Guys, I hope that you all uh, took a really uh, benefit out of this video. Please do not forget to subscribe, like, and share. And uh, in case you have any question, uh, I am available for you for your questions. You can send it and uh, keep uh, in touch with us on our video channel and on our website, cafe, hbotcafe.com. Thank you and have a good day. Goodbye.